Hi, this is Dr. Andrew Chrysler, teaching communication systems. You can follow along in this set of videos with this textbook by Lavi and Ding. In this set of videos, I'm going to be discussing methods for generating FM signals. So if you ha want to send an FM message, what kinds of circuits, devices, and components could you use uh, both today and what was used traditionally? So we'll be discussing uh, frequency and bandwidth multipliers, Armstrong method, and nonlinear devices in this set of videos. So first, uh, let's just mention that there are two ways that you can generate FM signals, direct methods or indirect methods. Most of this video series is going to be about the indirect methods because this is the historical method for generating them. However, we're also going to discuss the direct method first. So the direct method would be directly to generate a instantaneous frequency uh, that's based on your message or message derivative, so your angle modulated message, using something called a voltage controlled oscillator. Uh, the voltage controlled oscillator is an important device that uh, is used uh, throughout communication systems, but basically, this is a device that oscillates at some set frequency. So it oscillates at something that might be called the quiescent frequency, naturally, and that might be your carrier frequency. And then the voltage controlled oscillator, as its name implies, the oscillation is actually controlled by another input voltage. So it naturally oscillates at a carrier frequency or some, some frequency that would be your carrier frequency, and then it can be controlled with a secondary voltage. That secondary voltage could be based on your message or your message derivative. Therefore, this is a direct method for generating signal. So you can directly create a instantaneous frequency that's based on your message or message derivative of your angle modulated signal using a voltage controlled oscillator. Uh, we'll also see uh, a return to this idea of the voltage controlled oscillator uh, in, in the future uh, as they are often used in phase locked loops. So this, this is an important uh, device in communication systems. However, uh, most of the rest of this video will discuss some uh, historical methods for generating FM signals, and these are mainly indirect methods. So this is starting, you would start with uh, a narrow band or approximation of your angle modulated signal. You'd use a nonlinear device to make the wideband signal, and we'll see how this works in later videos. And we'll lean heavily on our knowledge of how uh, DSBSC modulation works. So you can go back and, and see those videos, which I'll link first on how to do the DSBSC modulation. We'll also return to our knowledge of how nonlinear devices work and how we can uh, approximate what those devices do uh, using uh, power series. So I will also place uh, links to the previous videos on our nonlinear devices uh, here now.